In this video, we're going to discuss the Rydberg equation. The Rydberg equation was formulated by a Swedish physicist, Johannes Rydberg, in 1888. And his equation was an expansion on work done by Johann Balmer. The importance of the Rydberg equation is that it allowed scientists and physicists to calculate the wavelengths for the spectral lines from a hydrogen atom emission spectrum. So if down here, if this is our hydrogen emission spectrum, uh, the Rydberg equation, which you can see here, allowed them to calculate the wavelengths for each of these spectral lines. In the Rydberg equation, R is the Rydberg constant, which you can see here, and the units are meters to the negative one. And N1 and N2 were whole number integers, so like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, where N1 is always less than N2. So the Rydberg equation allowed for the calculation of the wavelengths of each of these spectral lines for hydrogen's emission spectrum, but it wasn't really known exactly why these integers allowed for the calculation of the wavelengths. It wasn't really until Niels Bohr began to develop his uh, model of the atom, the Bohr model, where he began to study the quantization of energy. Bohr showed that the Rydberg equation could be calculated uh, could be used to calculate the wavelength of light emitted when a hydrogen electron fell from a higher shell to a lower shell. He was able to show that N2 represented the shell where the electron was falling from, so that would be its excited state. N1 represented the shell where the electron was falling to. Unfortunately for Niels Bohr, the equation only worked for the hydrogen atom and was not applicable to atoms with more than one electron. So for example, if an electron fell, according to the Bohr model, if an electron fell from the third shell, n equals 3, and it fell down to the first shell, n equals 1, well, the Rydberg equation would allow us to calculate the wavelength for the light that was emitted when that electron fell from 3 to 1. The Rydberg equation would become as follows. 1 over the wavelength is equal to the Rydberg equation uh, times 1 over 1 squared, where 1, that's the shell it's falling to, the first shell, minus 1 over 3 squared, where this is the shell it's falling from. So understanding the uh, that the integers represented the shells that the electron was falling from and where it was falling to was a major breakthrough in the understanding of spectroscopy. So let's practice a problem using the Rydberg equation. Calculate the wavelength of light released when an electron in a hydrogen atom falls from n equals 5 to the second shell n equals 2. After you've calculated the wavelength, calculate the energy of this photon that is emitted. Pause the video and see if you can solve it. Okay, so here's our Rydberg equation. Our problem tells us that the electron is falling from n equals 5 to n equals 2. So our equation becomes as follows. 1 over the wavelength equals our Rydberg constant. Uh, times 1 over 2 squared, that's the shell it's falling to, minus 1 over 5 squared, where 5 is the shell it's falling from. Okay, now we just have to begin to solve it. We square the 2 and the 5. We take the reciprocal of those, subtract 0 0.04 from 0.25, and then we multiply that times the Rydberg constant. Okay. Now this is not our final answer. We want the wavelength. This allows us to calculate 1 over the wavelength. So in order to get the wavelength, we take the reciprocal of both sides. So essentially divide 1 by this number. And of course, our wavelength, we need it in meters. And so by taking the reciprocal of both sides, we get our wavelength equal to 4.341 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. So when an electron falls from the fifth shell down to the second shell, it emits a photon of light. And that photon would have a wavelength of this. Now, what would be the energy of that? 
Well, to calculate the energy of the wavelength, we would take the E energy equals Planck's constant times speed of light divided by our wavelength. So plugging in our Planck's constant, speed of light, dividing by our wavelength, we get an energy of 4.58 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So this, again, uh, the Rydberg equation with the help of Niels Bohr allows us to understand that when an electron falls from an excited state to a, a lower uh, shell, it will emit a photon of light. And the Rydberg equation allows us to calculate for a hydrogen atom the wavelength of that light. So be sure you can use the Rydberg equation uh, and do calculations involving that equation.